let's talk about your book, Why Don't the Birds Fall? What are, are the most interesting facts about that book? Um, well, uh, I think the most interesting thing about this book is that it talks about science and some of things, some of the things we learned recently, ten or twenty years ago, but at the same time, time it's the book for children. So my job is to communicate science to them. You know, the the bird flight is a miracle. I don't know if you see a miracle there, but when I go to the street, and I see that essentially lizard, you know, tiny dinosaur, which uh, it's got a weight of a um, cell phone what uh, 200 grams maybe 150 and it just takes off and flies it still is a miracle uh even now after all the decades that we study it um it doesn't care about gravitation about gravity you know we are the slaves of gravity whenever we trip we fall but the birds they don't care about it they you know use feathers they use their extremely low weight to take off and go to you know another country when it's uh, winter here i find it really remarkable yeah it's really a miracle and that huge distances that they can go through without any compass and gps only by their instinct that's really a miracle we still don't know how they do it, though. Uh, so um, you are a scientist. Um, you are fond of biology and you uh, do the serious research. And I think that it's a um, very um, interesting task for you as a scientist to write a book for children, to be that uh, you know, pocket scientists of public house, of publishing house, of Pinjara publishing house, to write this book for children and to describe, to depict uh, the complicated things uh, in very simple words. It's difficult for you and why uh, it is interesting for you personally? Well, I really like it. Uh, you know, we've been working with uh, Pinjara for a while already. And for me, it's kind of an ongoing conversation, which uh, I didn't know when it started, and it probably doesn't have an end to it. Uh, so within this book, we talk about bird flight, but the way I talk about it is to show that everything is connected to everything. And I use examples from engineering, or I talk about, I don't know, culture, um, I think um, uh, that's the way to continue that conversation with the entire family, not just children. I hope that this book is read by the entire family and there's always something to talk about after the finished reading. Um, this is one thing. Another thing which is really peculiar about this book is um, the role of an artist. You know, the way we work together uh, uh, is kind of similar to the way you probably shoot a movie. Uh, so we sit down together and we plan it page by page, what is going to happen there. And my words are only part of it. Uh, we also plan the visual part, which uh, has got its own narrative, its own communication to the reader. And I really enjoy that. Um, how do you think, can a boy or a girl by, in the age of seven read it without parents, read it lonely and understand everything? Was it your task to make them understand it without any help? Yes, pretty much so. I think the way we conceptualized this series is um, sort of I can read series. So that would be some of the first books that children read. Um, and usually it's fiction, as you know, usually it's uh, some fairy tale or some you know, fictional story. But uh, after years and years of lecturing uh, for a very young audience, 
I discovered that they find even more, they find, uh, you know, nonfiction even more enticing, more magical. Um, they, they, they keep asking questions. Um, and I've been answering those questions for a very long time. But I noticed that sometimes there are some questions left behind, some questions they don't ask. So I decided to use it to write books, somehow to take the scene, to overtake it. Uh, and um, I'm being approached by children who have read, who have read this book with uh, some follow-up questions. And I can see that they make um, a hell lot of sense out of what I wrote. I'm very happy about it. Great. Thank you very much. Good luck to you and your book. Thank you. I'm so excited about Shanghai.